Let's get ready to tone and sculpt with this full body yoga workout. All you will need is yourself a yoga mat. Let's begin. Standing at the front of your mat, hands in prayer at the heart. Let's take a deep breath in, filling the lungs. As you exhale, drop your hands either side of your body, palms facing forward into mountain. Let's take another expansive inhalation, rolling through the body, coming into a gentle back bend, lifting your arms up and behind you just slightly and engage your core. Exhale, draw the elbows down, cactus arms and collapse the body into a forward fold. Keeping a bend in those legs if you're not ready to straighten them yet. Inhale to halfway lengthen. Exhale to forward fold. Bend into those knees and roll through the body, coming back up and into another gentle back bend. Exhale, cactus arms, draw those elbows down and collapse the body into another forward fold. Inhale to halfway lengthen. And exhale to forward fold, once again rolling through the body, coming back up and into another gentle back bend. Lift that chin and engage your core. Exhale as you collapse the body through cactus arms. Inhale to halfway lengthen. Engage your core and lift your left leg strong and straight behind you, planting your fingertips beneath the shoulder blades. Inhale as you connect knee to forehead and then extend on the exhale. Keep this going, moving to the rhythm of your in and exhale. Final time, connect and extend and hold your extension. Gently lift your fingertips off the mat, bring the hands into prayer and move yourself into warrior three. On the next inhalation, draw your left foot to the front of your body. Take that foot within your right hand and extend that left leg in front of you. Hold for a breath and then allow that left leg to float back behind you and move into a high lunge. Let's take an expansive inhalation here, really lifting through the upper body towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring those hands down either side of that front foot, move to high plank and move through your chaturanga, inhaling to upward facing dog. And exhaling as you push back to your downward facing dog. Now begin to step up the central line of your yoga mat, releasing your body weight into your heels each time. Take your time and move nice and slow. Once you have found your way to the front of your mat, bring your feet parallel. Inhale to halfway lengthen. And exhale to forward fold. Inhale as you extend your right leg back behind you. Repeating the same sequence through the right side, bring your right knee to your forehead and then extend back behind you, engaging your core the entire time. Final time, connect knee to forehead, extend, hold, and lift yourself up into your warrior three. Let's all take a deep breath in here, holding our balance and focusing on a point somewhere on the floor beneath you. As you exhale, bring that right foot in front, take it with your left hand and make that extension just for one breath. Release and float that right leg behind you, moving into high lunge. Exhale as you float your hands either side of that front foot, move to high plank and then through your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale as you push back to downward facing dog. On the next inhalation, lift your left leg to three-legged dog. 
On your exhale, bring that left foot in between your hands and extend that left leg moving into pyramid. Lift and lower your body to that extended left leg, drawing back on the left hip so your hips are in alignment. Keep this going and match your movements to your in and exhalation. Wherever you are, let's make this the final time. Hold and transition from here into a low lunge, gently lowering your right knee to the ground and extending up through the upper body. Let's all take an expansive inhalation here. And as we exhale, extend through that left leg and move into half split. Now let's lift and lower from half split to low lunge. Again, let's keep this going and let's keep that rhythm of movement connected to our breathing. Moving as deep into those hips as you can and lowering your body as close to that front extended leg as possible. Final time on the extension, coming back into low lunge and then let's drop those hands down either side of your front foot, step back to high plank and move through our chaturanga. Inhaling to upward facing dog and exhaling as we push back to our downward facing dog. On the next inhale, let's lift our right leg to three-legged dog. We're going to move into the same sequence on the other side. So step that right foot up between the hands, extending that right leg into pyramid, lifting and lowering with a straight spine, coming as close to that front leg as possible. Drawing back on that right hip and maintaining a straight and stable form. Keep this going, inhaling to expand and exhaling to contract. Final time, then let's lower that left knee and move ourselves into low lunge, extending up through the upper body. Let's take a deep breath in, fill those lungs. And as you exhale, bring those hands down, moving into half split, drawing your torso as close to that extended right leg as you can. Keep this going. And again, just keep that movement connected to your in and exhale. Final time, let's finish up wherever you are, lifting back up to low lunge, take one inhale, and then exhale those hands down, step back to high plank and move through your chaturanga. Inhaling to upward facing dog, and exhaling as you push those hips back, heels down to downward facing dog. Now drop your left elbow down to the floor and hold this half dolphin pose. Inhale, return to down dog. And then exhale, drop both elbows down to a full dolphin. Inhale as you return to downward facing dog, extending both arms. And then exhale as you drop the right elbow down and hold. On your inhale, extend both elbows and return to downward facing dog. Then begin to step towards your feet, moving into a forward fold. Interlace your fingers behind your back and allow your arms to hang heavy as you open up through the shoulders. Make sure to release any tension you may be holding in your neck, jawline or face. Just allowing gravity to be the driving force of this stretch. On the next inhalation, bend into those knees and roll up to stand up. Let's turn now to face the length side of our mats. Hands into prayer in preparation and let's move into standing pigeon, lifting the left leg onto the right thigh and bending down into a deep squat. 
Keeping your weight into your heels, let's stand up and squat with knees together, squat with knees open, squat with knees together and squat with knees open again and move into standing pigeon on the other side. Although I am moving quite fast through the sequence, please move at your own speed. Try to make each squat as deep as possible and keep your weight in those heels. Mirror my movements and let's do this together. And final time moving into standing pigeon. Hold for a couple of deep breaths here. On the next inhalation, let's release that standing pigeon and face the front of our yoga mats. Deep breath in as we breathe through the arms, bring the palms together above the head and exhale into your forward fold. Let's take each opposite elbow in our hands and just allow gravity to once again draw us closer to the ground in our forward fold, releasing any tension in the neck, face and jawline. If it feels good, you can take a little rock from side to side. Drop your fingertips to the ground, inhale halfway lengthen jump or step back to high plank we're going to move through our push-up sequence drop your knees to the ground if this is too much we're going to be taking a push-up and then bear another push-up and then downward facing dog that is the sequence let's do this together keep going Wherever you are, let's take one final push up and push back to downward facing dog and meet there together. Press your weight into those hips and draw those heels down. Relax your neck and allow your head to hang heavy. Let's just rest here for a few rounds of breath before we continue. On the next inhalation, lift your left leg to three-legged dog. On the exhale, draw that knee to both elbows, extend it back behind you into three-legged dog and then repeat. Let's work out from the core, so keep it tightly engaged. Wherever you are, let's connect one more time to both elbows, one more time to extend to three-legged dog, and then let's move into a pigeon pose. Bringing that left knee up to the front, extending through the arms as you inhale, and then as you exhale, release and relax, moving into a forward fold, resting your forehead on your hands. I recommend just closing your eyes and allowing yourself to drift on the gentle rhythm of your in and exhale. On your next inhalation, gently bring your hands beneath your shoulder blades. As you exhale, extend your arms and lift those shoulders back. 
I invite you here to take a mermaid pose. Stay where I currently am if this is enough for you or option here to take a full bind and join me if you wish. One final deep breath in. And as we exhale, let's release. Let that back foot go, return to high plank and move through your chaturanga, inhaling to upward facing dog and exhaling as you push back to your downward facing dog. Inhale as you lift your right leg to three-legged dog. Exhale, connecting knee to both elbows and then back to three-legged dog. Keep it going as we move through the same sequence on the other side. Final time, connect knee to both elbows, extend back to three-legged dog, and then move into pigeon pose. Taking a moment to get yourself into position and inhale through the arms, expanding through the chest, and exhale as you forward fold. Resting your forehead on your hands, closing your eyes, and drifting on the gentle rhythm of your own breathing. Let's all take one final deep breath in here. And as we exhale, draw those hands beneath your shoulders, extend through the arms and release your pose. Again, option here to take your back foot and come into mermaid. Whatever it is you chose to do on the other side, please repeat that for this side. One more deep breath in, and as we exhale, release, coming back into high plank and moving through our chaturanga, inhaling to upward facing dog, and exhaling as you push back to child's pose this time. Release all your weight into those hips and expand yourself through the upper body. Neck relaxed, eyes closed, and begin to lengthen your breathing, slowing it down. Thank you so much for joining me. It is truly such an honor that we can meet here and practice together. If you enjoyed the class, don't forget to subscribe and join me next time. I wish you a beautiful day. Namaste.